You're watching Star Watch Media. I'm Callie Bundy, and we're here at the 20th anniversary of the Hamptons International Film Festival. Here at the Hamptons International Film Festival, I am Callie with Star Watch Media, and I'm here with a few people from the new public. Director Jillian, how are you? Great, thank Great. you. And actor Kevin, who is the teacher. Yes, nice to meet you, thanks. Nice, and you do have a very, very strong teacher quality, quality to you. Well, I've been doing it for a lot of years, so, so it's it natural. Sense. Yeah, he's a, it's a documentary. He's actually a, a teacher that we're following in the film, so oh, <laughs> yeah. See, it all comes together, and this is why we do these. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the documentary? Okay, the film is called The New Public, and it is chronicling the first four years of a small public high school in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. Okay. And Kevin is... Mr. Greer, and, and he is a teacher that we followed the, from the first day of the school through its first graduation. Wow. So they were an ambitious and idealistic group of educators, and they came into this community, and they f started this small urban public high school. Okay, so you said four years that you followed them. Yes, we wow. followed them for four entire years. And it was a student, uh, we followed a few students, a teacher, a parent, and in general wanted to see... Um, what it's like inside an urban public high school and at their homes and have this kind of insider look and and have a show and not a tell of what um, is happening in urban, edu urban education today. So. Okay, so about when did you get the idea for this project? Well, well the school started in uh, 2006, but we've been working on it for a couple of years before okay. that. Um, so we're seven years in now. So seven years. And Kevin and I actually know each other from when we were 12 oh, years old, great. and yeah, uh, we went to public schools ourselves, so cool. and they started the school I was going to come in and teach documentary, and I was sort of so taken by their ambition and dedication, and it was something I had not seen as a public school student myself. So we immediately started filming, and um, I was given incredible access sure. because of our history, and uh, the film became an integral part of the school, which is an arts and media high school. Sure. So we got to um, give kids cameras, so the film is very much of a community effort in much in the same way that the school is. I was going to ask that, how did they respond to you being there, but it sounds like they were all, all on board. Yes, how was it for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you get really great access into, um, you know, the lives of the teachers, the principal, also into the students' lives. Sure. Um, how so, did it feel to be followed? Oh, it was, well, you know, there's sometimes when you're seeing me struggle that I wish there wasn't a camera in the room. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, we come out and, uh, and it's a great school now, so uh, that's really gratifying. Right. Yeah, I think the school, the story is not, um, you know, it's a bittersweet story and it, it's a realistic story and it's not meant to um, show how anybody is a hero. It's not meant to objectify anyone. We're just really seeing what that's like offering people a chance to make their own decision about what they think um, is happening and, and not, you know, pushing or advocating for a particular um, angle. Right, and it must have been interesting too for the students. I mean, to be followed for four years and be young and not, and then now that's over. And I mean, how do they respond well, to it? It's amazing to see their transformations. Yeah. You know, just to see a kid when they're in ninth grade to twelfth grade, how much they change. Um, but I think they also they found it really interesting. The students who have seen the film are just floored by it. They love it. Um, so that, I think that's a great experience for them, a great learning experience right. for them. And actually, the first, one of our main subjects, who's, um, we have a whole bunch of people coming to our screening tomorrow from the school, and one of our main subjects is actually a filmmaker himself now, and he's gotten a four-year scholarship as wow. a filmmaker. Um, so it's really incredible the way that the film really became a part of of their own experience. Right, and really just changed their career paths and what they wanted to do and yeah, incredible. So you said the first screening is tomorrow? The first screening was Thursday and it was just absolutely fantastic experience and then tomorrow at 5.45 um, is our second screening and we will have probably um, 10 people from the school yeah. and you know it couldn't for me as a filmmaker to have the school support the film and feel like that's actually a tr their story depicted in a way that felt true to them is the 
best honor I could have, right. um, you know, so. Right, because I'm sure it's very personal, very meaningful. Um, what do you really want, you know, the audience to come away with? You know, obviously it's a success to you, but to be a success overall, what do you really want them coming away with? Well, I'll tell you, the, the story of our students is uh, not just their story, and it's not just my story, it's everybody's story. It's an American story, and if you care about American culture and, and uh, our citizens, then it's an interesting film for you to see. And, you know, ideally it's a, a story about um, the fact that it's much bigger than school. These issues are nuanced and complicated, and it's not just, you know, we often look to the schools to fix all the problems, and the idea that, you know, it's not that simplistic. So, um, you know, it's in what Kevin was saying, it's everybody's responsibility and it's in everybody's interest. And, and actually the story is interesting and not, you know, it's not a stale education story. It's this, it's this real sort of inside and it's very, you know, very human, very human, very yeah. human. human. Right. <laughs> now for those humans that aren't here this weekend, where can they go out to find, uh, you know, more information or where can they see it? We are, we have a website. It's um, the new public movie.com. We also have a Facebook page, which is Facebook on the new public movie. Um, and we have, um, we're just starting, this is our world premiere. Okay. So we don't actually um, know where we'll be next, but we are going to be as many places as we can. Okay, and anywhere to take that from here? I mean, any plans on maybe continuing to follow the student who's going on another four years? Well, he'll, he's going to make films himself. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt about it. So uh, we'll get even more famous as he becomes famous. Uh, okay. That's true. He will, will, and we'll be posting his work on our website. Right now he's doing an internship at PBS NewsHour. So, I mean, he's really, it's, he's a really fantastic kid. And yes, it's true. He's making us as famous as we've ever, you know, been able to make him. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, great. So any new projects for either of you currently? Well, the, the good news is that um, he's still teaching at the school, and I'm working on um, another documentary that is um, about, well, I, it's following middle schoolers, and um, they're more about their emotional life of that awkward time of being in middle school. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for your time, and best of luck this weekend. Yeah, thank, thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.